friends, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm so glad you're here. This month, we're celebrating black history. That's a time in the year where we get to shine a light on amazing people of color who helped change our world for the better. Of course, we celebrate black history every day of every month, but in the month of February, we get to dedicate it specifically to our black culture. And today, I want to teach you all about a very special teacher who made a big difference in New York City way back in July of 1854. Her name was Elizabeth Jennings Graham. Although we don't know her exact birthday, we do know that Elizabeth was born in March of 1827 in New York. Elizabeth was very intelligent from a young age and with the help of her mother, she even delivered a speech at just 10 years old. By the time Elizabeth was 27, she had become a school teacher and she taught at the Private African Free School, which was started by Alexander Hamilton, and it was a school only black children could go to. Later in life, she would teach for the public school system. In the 1850s, there were no buses like the ones we can ride on now, so the most popular way to travel was by streetcars like this that were pulled by horses. And during this time, the owners of the streetcars could choose who they wanted to ride on them. Black people were not allowed to ride on most streetcars, and for the ones where they could, they were only allowed to sit in certain areas. On the Sunday morning of July 16, 1854, Elizabeth was running late for church, so to save time, she decided to get onto a streetcar. The owner of the streetcar did not want her to ride and ordered her to get off, but Elizabeth refused until she was forced off by a police officer. When this happened, her story spread everywhere, with Frederick Douglass even posting about it in his newspaper, and it started a mission for black people to fight against not being allowed to ride on streetcars. A lawsuit was started by Elizabeth's father, Thomas Jennings, and her case was handled by 24-year-old Chester Arthur, who would later become the 21st president of the United States. After almost a year of fighting, the court ruled in Elizabeth's favor, and the company who owned the streetcar began to allow black people to ride. In later years, Elizabeth Jennings Graham opened up and ran New York's first ever kindergarten school for black children inside her home. Elizabeth died on June 5, 1901, at the age of 74, and she has been honored many times since then. She has a street named after her in New York, and they are even planning to put up a statue for her. Elizabeth Jennings Graham helped change the streetcar system in New York, and there were many others after her who changed transportation in their own states, like Charlotte Brown in San Francisco, John Mitchell Jr. in Virginia, Irene Morgan, and most famously, 100 years after Elizabeth Jennings Graham, there was Rosa Parks. Thanks to the courageous fight Elizabeth and the others decided to take on, we now can ride on any public vehicle to get us to where we need to be, and that is a simply amazing thing. Thank you for joining me to learn more about our history, and I hope you'll do something kind for someone else. I'll see you next time.